Yeah, hello, uh, I'm Jan uh, from uh, Nextcloud and also from Open Source Design. So uh, with this talk, I'm uh, just combining two of the projects that I'm working on. I also have stickers later if you want to get some. Yeah. Uh, gotta keep the sticker economy uh, going. So uh, in this talk, I'm gonna uh, show you uh, five strategies, uh, by no means uh, all, yeah? um, but five strategies that we're applying at uh, Nextcloud uh, for open source design. So first, if you don't, like, can I have a show of hands who knows what Nextcloud is? Okay, so most people, but I, I will uh, explain it, of course. So Nextcloud uh, essentially um, uh, is a, a full suite of uh, tools for yeah, keeping your data private within your organization or your personal data. So we have file sync and sharing, we have calendars, contacts, uh, video calls and chat, um, all sorts of things. We have an office suite, uh, which is um, based on Collabora or LibreOffice Online. And uh, we also have a bunch of AI integration, which is on-premise. So you get the benefit of AI, but on your own uh, server. And uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of cool. So um, yeah, um, if you want to connect, uh, that's my website. Uh, all the info is there. Uh, but yeah, let me show you uh, actually what we came here for. So uh, first strategy is uh, structure. Uh, so uh, this is essentially like sort of like, the least you can do or where you can start kind of category. Yeah? If you are a, a, an engineer, a developer, or someone who has a project, um, or if you're not a developer, yeah, if you're someone within an open source project, then uh, the, the basic thing you can do is give visibility to design. And also to ensure that there is a place for designers that they, can, that they have when they come, uh, that they know where to continue or, or what to do. And I will show you some examples. So, one thing that we do, uh, or one of the first things that we do, and what I always recommend to, to projects, is that you have an issue tag uh, called design. Yeah? And I mean, some projects call it UX slash UI or whatever. Some people have different tags. I just keep it simple. Yeah, we're, we, do, we just keep it simple in our projects. Just call it design. Yeah? So just one design tag. It's across the repositories. Uh, and that's where you find the design issues. That's where. Um, we open the issues, that's where other designers can find the issues, and that's where you can get started also, for example. You can, of course, combine it with different other issue tags, like good first issue that you might be aware of, that, um, which is uh, um, an issue tag that can be used for people just getting started. So if you combine design and good first issue, you get good design and first issues. So that's pretty cool. And that is a really simple thing you can do in your project. So if you don't do that right now, do it. Yeah? Um, first, first thing to do. Uh, it's going to get harder now, yeah? but, but uh, this is the simplest one. <laughs> so next one is grouping designers. And this can be done in any sort of way. You know? uh, this is one way we're doing. Um, uh, as I said, Nextcloud is this whole suite of applications. One thing that we have is uh, Nextcloud Talk. This is our chat uh, and uh, call and video call uh, software. And uh, here we have a conversation called Design Team Public on our own instance. This one. As it says, it's public. You can also join. You can go there from nextcloudcom slash design. And uh, this is a place where we group designers, yeah, where you can join as a designer. Where also a lot of developers hang out. Yeah? So people exchange information and uh, yeah, just talk about design. Yeah? It's sort of, you don't have to be a designer to be in this, in this group. Yeah? And uh, there's, of course, other places as well where you can group designers. Like uh, on GitHub or on the whichever uh, issue tracking system you use, uh, you can have these groups uh, like at uh, we have at Nextcloud slash designers, and so you can mention an entire group for review. For example, you can request a review from the designers. So grouping people, yeah, giving them sort of a place to to chat, um, and not only among themselves but also with others, with the engineers. As uh, Satya, for example, previously in his talk uh, said. Uh, it's very important that uh, like a design is not just a handover process, no? but it's an iterative process, especially in open source, where yeah, there's traditionally very few designers, has to be very collaborative. Then uh, uh, the third example uh, for for this section is the last example. It's um, uh, it has specific pages. So uh, this is our design page. It's uh, nextcloud.com/design. Uh, it's not the whole page, of course, but it's more here yeah, uh, with a whole bunch of text and, and info, uh, a lot of what I'm talking about now, um, which serves as sort of an entry point. And then a more advanced thing, and yeah, this is probably a bit more difficult if you don't have it yet, 
but is having design guidelines of some sort, yeah? having components, having just saying, hey, this is the brand, line, brand guidelines, this is our logo, these are our colors, this is what we use. Um, wording guidelines is also something that is not very often used. They're like being friendly or which type of capitalization you use or which kind of language you use, like not, not language as in uh, English or German or whatever, but uh, which kind of um, type of tone, yeah? Uh, are you friendly? Are you serious? And so on. It's also very interesting to have guidance for that. All right. So that's the first one, uh, having a structure. Yeah? The next one is having a process and uh, making that process open. Yeah? Uh, so in this section, we'll talk about specifications and mockups, how we do that, uh, and how we involve engineers and iterate. Um, again, coming back to this, yeah, that it's a very iterative process and a very collaborative process. And some examples for that. Um, as I said before, we have labels here, this design label. There's a whole bunch of other labels. And um, this is a specification that is done where the developers are on GitHub. Yeah? So uh, this is for, for an improvement to a sharing design and flow uh, that I wrote. Uh, and uh, yeah, you see the specification, first a bunch of text. Down here, there's uh, some mockups, yeah? and then there's some more text. So uh, it's, a, it's at a place where developers work. It's in the issue tracker, um, where we also do the design specification. It's very important because then everyone gets involved and it's not a fixed thing. Then we're done with the mockups and then we throw it over the wall, but it's like, it's a discussion. Huh? Um, yeah, so specifications as issues, that's a very important one. Next example is uh, maybe you know the software, it's called Penpot. It's basically, yeah, it's an open source mockup tool, uh, you can also use it actually to create slides. Uh, my colleague Nimisha actually does her slides with it. Uh, these slides were not done, these were done in LibreOffice, but uh, she does her slides with Penpot, which is very cool. So it's sort of an alternative to Figma or even um, Miro, these whiteboarding tools. And we use that for mockups. Yeah? Um, and it's very cool, uh, very useful, open source, and I can only really wholeheartedly recommend it. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we also do that in the open. Yeah? So we, we invite new people who, who want to contribute, um, and we also invite developers. So uh, yeah, because we're two full-time designers on, on the team only, yeah, with, with a lot of engineers, um, but there's a whole bunch of people in this, uh, in this Penpot organization, and you should be very liberal with inviting people, because then people can yeah, do stuff by themselves. Yeah? Like a, um, Developers of groupware, for example, can, can do mockups, or um, any, any developer can, can mock up their own app, their own feature, and then you can talk with them and do some modifications, and that way you sort of teach design as well, which is a very important thing in tool. Next example, or no, not next example. So this was the last example for design process. Uh, next uh, strategy is uh, research. And uh, especially in open source, yeah, we don't have a lot of resources. We're we're very. It's a. I mean, it's not a very small community. Thankfully, right? We're we're growing and we're big, as you can see from the conference. But designers in open source are still uh, fewer. So it's very important to use existing material yeah? and to also maximize the limited resources that you have. And um, by that I mean, yeah, you can just get inspired a lot. Yeah, I mean, as everyone does. Yeah, as as every project does. You look at other projects, you look at what works. Um, a lot of projects, even closed source projects, um, blog about their usability tests or about their design research. There's a lot to learn that is out there. Yeah? You don't need to always start from zero. Um, yeah. So, uh, some examples again. Uh, here for our Nextcloud Talk app, uh, which you see in this column with a lot of nice the green check marks because we have a bunch of cool features that others don't have. Um, we did this uh, gap analysis with other solutions like Microsoft Teams, uh, Zoom, Google Meet, Slack, and Discord. Uh, and we also looked at others, of course, but these are the, the main ones. Um, and we just did a simple overview. Yeah? Um, and this, this uh, gives us a feeling of like, where are we missing things? Where are we positioned very well? Uh, what do we need to look into? Yeah? Because then we would just look, for example, yeah, like the last one, instant disposable meetings. Yeah, you see there's already an issue created for this. We don't have it, it's an issue. Yeah? And then we would go to the other solutions, look at how they do it, yeah? and simply see if there's like sort of a common thread uh, that we can that we can build on, uh, that we can sort of um, yeah make it look very similar. Also to pick up people who are switching to an open source solution from a proprietary solution, make it much simpler. 
as an example, uh, there's usability testing. This is, of course, a bit more of an investment. In this case, uh, this was done with a partner uh, organization, sort of. It's a, a usability agency or a design agency, open source design agency called Ura Design. And they did uh, usability testing for our forms app, for our Nextel forms. And uh, this, is, I think, is a very cool display of results. Yeah? So basically, um, here you see it was done with five participants, one participant per column, and uh, a bunch of tasks. Here you see the first tasks were rather easy, yeah? and then here, uh, sharing the form was an issue. Yeah? So, so you immediately see this is something you need to fix. Yeah? Um, and so um, it shows you immediately, uh, as someone who is not involved with the project, um, yeah, where the difficulties are. Uh, which is also very, good, uh, very important because you, as a person who works on the project, you tend to um, tend to not see the issues. You know? So usability testing is really good, uh, really good tool. And it doesn't have to be with five people. Yeah, it can be three people. Yeah, three people should be the minimum, I would say. But it's you should do it. Yeah, agencies do it with twelve people. That's like yeah, you don't need that. But uh, just show it to a few people who are not so technical. Yeah. Um, to a few people who don't know the project, to a few people at, at the conference, for example, uh, and just uh, yeah, uh, see what they, how they use it. Yeah. And, and don't help out. Uh, and let them make mistakes, because it's not their mistakes, it's mistakes of your software. Uh, you already see that I, I do a whole talk about just use video testing, but let me continue. Um, next thing is surveys. It's a very quick uh, tool to see uh, also yeah, where you stand with your uh, with, with issues, with features, or anything. Uh, of course, it's, um, it's, uh, this is more of a, a quantitative uh, approach, uh, where you just get, like, you should get a lot of uh, responses, yeah? where usability testing is qualitative, so you get one-on-one -on -one feedback. This is a quantitative approach, so uh, yeah, you should get, you should, should spread it far and wide, and you always need to be aware of a bias. So if you, if you tweet it from your project account, Maybe the people who are replying, they already know your project well. So you need to just keep that in mind. Yeah? Um, but yeah, you can also do that with Nextcloud Forms. Yeah, we have a Forms app, which is an open source Google Forms. And we periodically do surveys for Nextcloud apps, um, like about our, our Kanban board app or about Nextcloud Forms itself, just like here. And uh, this helps a bunch to just see yeah, where we stand and uh, what we can improve and what people are expecting. So. Then, uh, yeah, that was that with uh, research. Now we come to the fourth point, uh, community. So uh, some of you, uh, hello. Uh, so it's very important to uh, get people yeah, excited about design and involve a wider community. Uh, not, not just, as I said before, uh, not just the designers or the people who would identify themselves as designers, but also the engineers, uh, because everyone sort of can, can I mean, you would think almost every engineer has something to say about design if you look at, the, at some open source communities. So you should you should channel it into the right into the right avenues. Yeah? So let me give you some examples. Uh, we have um, this sprung out of uh, just talking with people at our uh, Nextcloud conference in person and giving them design reviews. We have a regular design review call every week. Uh, it's uh, at Tuesday at two p.m. or whatever. But it doesn't really matter. Yeah? Uh, except if you want to join, you're very welcome. But uh, we have a weekly, regular review call for one hour. Yeah? So it's, it's not that long, yeah? so it's a short but regular review call um, for anyone who wants their design reviewed uh, in the community. Yeah? It can be uh, an app that, we, that an employee works on, yeah? or a community member, whatever. Yeah? Um, but we have this open forum, sort of, and where also everyone can join. Yeah? It's a, whether designer who studied or whatever, or an engineer or a marketing person or no background whatsoever, yeah? um, it's all cool. Yeah? Um, everyone can give feedback on what's off or if something looks weird or is under not understandable. So this is a very, very uh, cool tool. Yeah? And then we, we take notes during the calls and uh, they're then put into issues. Yeah? And then sort of a checklist. Uh, it's a directly a checklist for the developer. What is very important is that this needs to come, like, you need to involve the people, the maintainers of the apps or the developers, they need to come to you, yeah? You, you can't just do this review without them present and then give them the list. Yeah, this is a, a recipe for disaster, essentially. Yeah? So 
Uh, with this is we, we're just very open. We we ask like a lot. Yeah, we, we have to ask a lot and again and again. But when people come, uh, it's usually very helpful. To them. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, one example. And can really recommend it if you want to get involved. Also, come come join these calls. Next example, and this is a very current one because you can actually participate. Yeah, uh, this is something that we we posted about yesterday because. Uh, for our current um, Nextcloud Hub 5 um, development cycle, uh, we're looking for uh, you uh, to design document templates. Yeah? So we have these, uh, I mean, when you create a new file, uh, create a new document or a presentation or um, a calc sheet or, or a drawing document, we have these templates. Yeah? So these are two templates that I actually designed. Yeah, kept it rather simple because creating templates is actually very difficult. Yeah? Um, but maybe you have some cool templates, uh, maybe you have some nice ideas, um, and uh, you can submit them. So this is a, a current uh, community contribution effort. Yeah? You can go to nextstop.com slash blog, and there's a post with more info on that. Uh, it would be cool to have your designs submitted, and uh, they will be, it's much like the, maybe you know from Ubuntu, the, or some other open source projects, I think, uh, this background, uh, photo background, uh, what's it called? Uh, background photo submission process, yeah, for, for the desktop background. So in this case, it's a, it's a document template that will be shipped with Maxilon. Yeah. Um, so yeah, community involvement, uh, uh, very important. And uh, then, like that, you can, you can grow a community and make people, like at the very least, even if they don't join, it's first you have a very cool template and they can say, hey, I contributed to an open source project in a very visible way, and it's a very cool thing that they can show their friends. And then maybe they get involved. So, yeah. Next thing, and this is the last strategy, uh, is collaboration. Because, I mean, we're open source, yeah, uh, we're all here. Um, but uh, what I often see, uh, and what I've seen through the years basically of working in open source, is that oftentimes uh, the projects are still very insular. Yeah? I mean, oftentimes there's collaboration, but more often than not, it's sort of a very, very, uh, I mean, I don't want to say walled garden, yeah, because that has a certain connotation, but uh, you need to understand that you're not the only project. Yeah? There's a whole bunch of other projects out there that you can do cool collaborations with. And there's, of course, also community developers, which are not necessarily in your direct sphere of influence. So let me show you some examples uh, of that, what we do. So, for example, with Collabora, uh, who you probably know, they were in our office online, uh, and Collabora, uh, we partnered um, to create Nextcloud Office. Yeah? This is basically uh, uh, built on um, uh, Collabora online, and uh, we, we work very closely with them. Yeah, We have a call every week to, to do adjustments and to see what, what a, where we adjust our strategy and stuff. It really helps us to integrate very, very um, very closely, yeah. So you have a very nicely integrated office suite directly inside Nextcloud, and they also get a lot of feedback from our side. And this is really a very cool partnership, yeah, uh, because we both, yeah, we have a limited amount of designers, but uh, every time we do like this ping pong yeah, among us, we get new ideas and everything. It's very cool. Yeah? So partnerships with other projects, I can really, really recommend. This is the first example. So the next one is uh, community developers. Uh, so we have our app store, uh, Nextcloud app store. There you see community apps like forms that I mentioned before, uh, Nextcloud maps actually, uh, tasks in this case, and the Nextcloud news, a news reader like our, uh, Google, uh, Google News uh, that they shut down a few years ago. Um, so these community developers also um, often come to, the, to our design team channel and uh, um, and ask if they can have a design review, you know? and uh, then it's very useful for them because then we yeah we do the review and and uh, we have a bunch of other people who are uh, also engineers or developers from other apps and they say oh but in my app it's different or in my app we do it like that and that way even yeah it gets like sort of um, how do you say it gets consistent without the designers necessarily always having like. The thumbs on it, yeah? so it's a, it's this, it creates this exchange between the maintainers of the different apps as well. Yeah? So the, for example, the different Android apps or the different iOS apps for Nextcloud, they all exchange sort of. They're like, oh, this is how you do it. Oh yeah, we have this library and so on. So 
this is very cool, yeah, and creating this flow of information between the teams as well. Then, uh, next example, and uh, the, the second to last example, I think, is the GNOME online accounts. So, you probably know GNOME, yeah, the open source desktop, uh, um, has this online accounts functionality, uh, which I think is super cool because uh, this is also in Ubuntu actually. Uh, immediately when you install it, when you start it for the first time, you see the screen uh, and you can add an account. So of course they show Ubuntu single sign-on and then Google, uh, that's popular, but then they show Nextcloud. Uh, so you can add your Nextcloud account directly when you installed your system. Uh, so this has been an effort actually, like uh, actually initially started out in the GNOME community sort of because they are a very design-driven community. I really like a uh, yeah, thanks to the GNOME community, I have to say, because a lot of these techniques are also inspired by, by GNOME. And uh, so this, yeah, it's already there since a long time, it comes through partnership to talking with them, yeah, and uh, we're always trying to link up more apps so that they can uh, be, be synced, yeah, because uh, like that you have, a, you have a whole experience, yeah, it's like, I mean, we need to we need to compete against the likes of Apple, yeah, which sync everything, you don't even need to think about. And we have the moving parts, yeah? we just need to talk to each other and, and make it work. So this is another very cool uh, thing. Yeah. Just talk to projects that are relevant to you, that do similar things just on a different platform, on mobile, on desktop or whatever, um, and make it work. Last example, or last, uh, yeah, last example I would say, the open source design community, uh, as I mentioned, uh, that uh, Sampak as well uh, and me are involved in. Uh, we're a loose collective of designers and developers as well. Anyone who um, yeah, cares about design and open source and wants to raise the, the profile of it, um, you can join. Yeah, any one of you can be part of it. Uh, we're at opensourcedesign.net. Yeah, you will find this page. We also have a, a job board. Uh, you can find uh, job postings from open source companies about design roles. Uh, you can uh, post one yeah, if you need a design. Yeah. You can find a job. We have a forum where you can uh, get involved. Yeah, uh, so engage with the with the wider audience. And yeah, come to conferences like this. I don't need to tell you all that, but uh, yeah. And that's that. Um, get involved at nextlove.com/design, uh, or get involved with any open source project as a designer. Yeah, we need more designers in open source. Um, and uh, yeah, so come to nextlove or come to open source design, and. Uh, Get some stickers. Thank you. Yeah, are there any questions? I'll give you the microphone. So you mentioned in um, strategy number four uh, that you have a conference call every Tuesday at Central European time. Yeah, yeah, so that, that's why I said like the, the time doesn't really matter. Like in our case, unfortunately, it's Central European time on Tuesday at two. Yeah, so it's uh, exactly. Yeah, so I, I was actually in Japan for two and a half months just just now. So it was uh, in the evening, like at ten, I think. So I mean, yeah, I participated, but it's uh, it's a tough thing. So what you could do is like depending on how your community is is um, uh, is distributed. Like for example, with open source design, we have a monthly call. And we have two. Yeah? We have one uh, for like a more European uh, US sort of uh, time zone, African time zone, uh, and one for more Asian sort of Pacific time zone. So you could do that, for example. Um, yeah, it's unfortunately, time zones are a thing. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, it's a globe, right? We're not on a flat earth. Huh? <laughs> more questions? Uh, you mentioned about the design review process, so are those limited to the next cloud project that we get into it, or any developer can come and request for it? Yes, so in our case, in the in the uh, design review call that I mentioned, uh, those are specifically related to next cloud and next cloud apps. Um, but with open source design, for example, we have a, um, we have a forum, yeah? so you could, you could ask for a review there. Or we're often at conferences. For example, I mean, we also had a, a track at Force Asia, I think, in 2017, and we should get a booth up and running again, uh, uh, maybe next year. Yeah. Um, but we often do. Um, we have a track every year at FOSDEM, actually, at, at the, in Brussels. Yeah. Um, and there we sometimes also have a table 
where we have people come to us and they can do ad hoc reviews. You know? So, I mean, you can also maybe just, I don't know, stuff like I'm just going to say, you can come to us and just ask uh, like if we want to have a look at your app and we're going to give you some hints or something. Right? Thank you. <laughs>